What's up everybody, this is Limits, bringing you guys another high level Halo Wars video. This game is going to be a 1v1 against Metaloid Monkey. And this may look really familiar to you guys. It is a uh, RB Anders matchup on Perth. I played him about a month ago and had a video on it, so I'll put that in the description below so you guys can see how our strategies changed. As you can see here, I'm going to be going Temple 2nd. And, uh... I see that he faked his expo. So basically what I'm going to do here is I threw up that warehouse right there in the front and DQ'd my temple and hopefully what I got out of that was Metaloid Monkey thinking I was going to probably go temple third. And if he thinks I'm going temple third, um, he's probably just going to collect crates and not have to worry about me getting a grunt out anytime soon. Stuff like that. Just the little things. And basically, um, he's not being aggressive with my ghost. My ghost has been completely fine. And he rescouts my base, so he does see that I am going Temple Second. And I do see that he is going Warthogs right here. I see he's got a few. And I'm just going to lead my ghost back to my RB just in case he wants to chase, but he's smarter than that, so he's obviously not going to chase my ghost into my RB. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm kind of just lingering around. I'm uh, scouting with my ghost, and uh, I'm going to start building my grunt, and I'm just going to take my reactor. And I can see on my mini-map that his hogs are not coming from that direction. They're not coming from the direction my RB's at. So he's not going to be able to get a spawn lock on my suicide grunt. And I should be able to go ahead and just take this reactor freely. And since there's a lot of money here um, on the map still, um, basically instead of doing a locust rush off of a keep, it'd be in my best interest to just go ahead, get the citadel, and throw up uh, my factory. To my surprise right now, um, Metaloid Monkey is actually not um, being aggressive with flamers or marines with taking uh, the hooks right now, or as warthogs, I haven't seen anything, so I'm going to send my ghost over to scout when actually uh, it dies to the rebels. So that kind of uh, annoys me a little bit because I also don't know if he's going to be taking that base over there. And so I'm going to rage my RB back over towards my base and walk around the long way uh, to scout that base out before I attack his main base. Um, and the purpose behind that is basically I don't want him to sneak up an expansion on me and have it come back and bite me in the end. So I do see that he has two uh, warthogs just kind of scouting my base. Tried to catch him, did a horrible job, didn't catch any hogs. I got one hit off and... That just really sucks for me. And I was debating going uh, double factory. What I was going to do there was pump locusts and a whole bunch of ghosts. But I'm assuming that he has a whole bunch of warthogs. So I'm going to actually have to rage a little bit more. So I decided to take down that second factory and throw up a warehouse instead. And so I'm basically have him pinned down right here to his main base. I know he's got warthogs, that's just a... Does he have um, flamers, spartans, what's going on? So I kind of moved my RB just up enough to see his base, get like a scout. That's going to help me be able to pinpoint his barracks with my locust. And I'm going to be teching my arbiter um, for the rage heal, so if warthogs come I'll be gaining health as I rage. And I see that uh, there's a marine right here that he's trying to sneak by. And I catch that. So now it's time that I basically don't sit around and waste any more time here. I need to put some pressure on him. And so this kind of looks... Uh, familiar, the strategy that I'm doing here. All 
So I'm going to basically stick my locus on the barracks. I'm keeping my ghosts in front here, microing around, making sure that there's no infantry anywhere. I'm kind of paranoid because I haven't seen any infantry. So I'm going to set my uh, RB right next to my locus here. And I'm still going to be moving my ghosts around. When I see that he has a bunch of hogs, that's actually a lot more than I expected. And uh, I need to get out of there because of the D-bomb. And right now, that's this is actually not looking good for me at all. And I'm actually able to basically get my entire army out, and my RB is going to be uh, surviving the uh, battle. So that was actually a good outcome for me after that D-bomb. I did the best with what just happened, I would say. And I was thinking about making some more uh, ghosts here, but there's way too many hogs, so it's pointless for me to go ghosts at this point, since I, ha I saw no infantry threat, more so just a warthog threat. And as you can see, Monkey's trying to plant over here, and basically I'm going to shut that down right away. So I caught really good timing here. This is a really good rebound for what just happened. I did see that he took me out of the uh, reactor. That's why I was heading over there. But I'm going to use this time to basically build a few wraiths. And with my ghosts, um, the best part about this is it's a flamethrower in this reactor. With my ghosts, I should, and my locuses, I should be able to uh, take them out of this reactor. I'm going to go ahead and clear this rebel base just so I also don't have things shooting at it. I see that I'm going to lose a few ghosts to the rebel, but, you know, the ghosts are just useless at this point because he wasn't building any infantry really. They won't. They. They would be, I guess, a little bit of blocking against like Spartans and whatnot, but nothing uh, too efficient. So, anyways, I see that uh, I'm not going to be able to get my grunt through here, but I do have one wraith out to defend my base, and that's actually not going to be enough. So, I'm going to actually have to recall here. But my RB is really low health; that uh, he's just going to die instantly. So, I just need to start rebuilding him as basically as soon as possible which is right away what I did here and since the army I have can't really do anything to this uh, grenadier uh, attack I'm basically just gonna have to hold out until my RB gets out but my best move I can possibly do right here is basically push up with my locust and ghost and I see he's uh, throwing a Spartan out and so I'm just gonna jam him up with the ghosts and target him down with the locust and move on up closer towards his base and I'm gonna do a pretty decent job here of making sure my wraith is gonna constantly be hitting these warthogs buying me some time he's trying to strip my economy right now and I also see that um, he doesn't have a barracks here on his main base which is actually really bad that means that he's got the secondary which is why I kind of looked over there earlier and I see that his grenadier hogs are totally off my base which means they're also heading towards my army so what I did here is I moved my army back to retreat and I rage ran my RB where, where my retreat point was and basically the point in that is I'm going to catch all these hogs with my RB now and just like that the uh, game is back in my favor And so right here, um, basically I'm going to keep the pressure on, on his main base. I'm going to start targeting down, I think, a, a pad or two before I start maining his base down. Just to make sure he doesn't have a, uh, a barracks coming up on the main. So I'm rebuilding my factory, and I'm going to just be building Locust and Wraith for the uh, remaining portion of this game. And I'm going to target down that one other supply pad. I see that the Spartan is coming from his secondary base. And 
I should have gotten over there in time a lot sooner, but I'm going to be able to rage this uh, Spartan off of my Locust, and uh, I know Metaloid Monkey was probably swearing at that because you're not supposed to be able to do that, but there are ways around it that you can actually rage a Spartan while it's jacking something. If you uh, grind enough games, you'll figure it out. So anyways, he tries locking his base, one more Spartan's going to get out, and that's just going to be a free rage. I see that uh, he tried to come over to my base, but I already had a turret up protecting my uh, vehicles, and since I know that he's going to be trying to take out my army, since it's his only viable option, I quickly rage ran over there and basically took, took out majority of his hogs. And after this, I'm just going to finish off his base. I think it's pretty low health. Yep, it's a red bar. So anyways, this was the uh, second time I played Metaloid Monkey on Perth Outskirts. I'm now 4-0 against him in 1v1. So, I don't think this is... the. I actually think the leader advantage on this map goes to Anders, but I think that the Arbiter is basically a thorn in Anders' side, so... The RB does have always a pretty decent shot of winning games against Anders. So anyways, that's going to conclude the end of this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and have a great day.